Well, welcome to Brown Street. You were used to seeing me where I'm selling houses, but in this case, so, um, we're actually renting this place and it's our own little wee baby. So we're looking for you. We're looking for somebody who's going to love our property as much as we love it, you know. So look, would you like to come in and have a look? Uh, but this is, it's suitable for anybody who, I don't know, you've got a place to park your car or your work truck as such, or perhaps, um, you know, you might be a person who bikes. So there's even a space that you can carry up your bike and there's a, there's a nice little shed um, which is just out there on the balcony. But check out the kitchen anyway, because when we first got this place, we really loved it in this kitchen um, of the fact that there's, there's a dishwasher. Who wants to do their dishes? So there's a dishwasher here, and uh, well, of course, obviously, there's an oven, isn't there? <laughs> um, and there's the, uh, the expert layer up here as well. But there's lots and lots of storage in here, room for you to fit your fridge, and look, it's just easy. If you spill anything on the floor there, well, you can just easily wipe it up or sweep it up or such. Now, another thing I really like is, is it's not just a one bedroom where you yourself can be in there by yourself, or perhaps, um, I don't know, you know, we're, we're looking for whoever just wants to um, love and enjoy our place. We don't care if you're a couple, whether you're a single person, uh, we don't care if you're retired, whether you've just, living, you know, first time renting as such. Uh, we just want someone to look after our place. Really easy. We're going to leave you to it as well and um, come in and have a look at the size of the room. So you can easily fit a double bed in here and um, it's quite nice in the summertime if you want a bit of fresh air to come in. It's not just opening up the windows. It's actually you can open up the slider. So um, with that, uh, with this balcony which is a nice decent size, you can actually have one of the, what are those barbecues called that they're advertising at the moment? You know the ones where you can cook the pizza on them as well as the meat and scones and whatever else? Plenty of room for one of those out there and your table and chairs. Oh, and depending on how many clothes and things you've got, you've got your own um, decent sized wardrobe there. Alright, so once you close this room off here, uh, well, you might have somebody staying overnight, I don't know. You want to put them in this room because it's not actually a bedroom. But what it actually is, is a uh, room which you can, some people have used it as an office. It's quite tiny, it's quite small, but when you are in here, you can still put a desk because there are actually plugs in here as well. Um, so, or if you've got that much stuff, look, you know, we're meeting people who are separating at the moment and you just need a place to stay, which is nice and safe. So um, coming back round, Quite good to know, you've got your own wee um, tub in here for doing all your washing. Look, you can have this here, tea towel, flick it over into the sink, or over on the side you could just actually put your um, washing machine in there. Uh, really easy setup, and um, yeah, plenty of lighting in there so that when you're scrubbing those shirt collars, or that uh, rugby shirt with all the grass stains and everything on it, you can see what you're doing. Um, this isn't anything in particular, it's just one of those, you know, it's just where the cylinder is. But look, if you've got a surfboard, you can stick that up in there, can't you? Tennis rackets, I don't know, whatever you're into. Sewing, maybe. Vacuum cleaner. That's what you could be putting there, it's the vacuum cleaner. Radio, come on in. And um, yes, there is a toilet, because they all have toilets, don't they? Uh, what we have got here is, we're very proud of our shower. Check out... Can you check out the glass? Look at it. Can you actually see a fingerprint on there? Kelly, um, my uh, partner, is really uh, particular about the glass. So actually there's a little wee um, uh, wipey blade thing that you can have for just, you know, keeping the glass clean. Or just get one of those sort of hair towel things. Heated towel rail as well, but if you do put that on there, I guess it's just going to add to the bills so and just don't bother putting it on. There's a wee heater on there too. Okay, so... Um, what else I was going to say is, uh, this is quite a decent sized lounge in here, you know. So, you know, it's all about us watching uh, Netflix, isn't it, after work. Whether you're a shift worker or a day worker or such, I feel like a shift worker and a day worker actually, but that's okay. Um, you just want to get home, have your dinner, get your takeaways, because there's takeaways really close by here. Um, you can park outside, you're on Brom Street. So it is a quite a busy sort of street, um, and um, the thing is, who doesn't want double glazing? Double glazing just means it's quieter, just means it's warmer as well. 
um, and it's funky and it's modern, you know. So uh, what else was I going to say is, if you are interested, this is a long little video on here, but might as well cover everything. If you are keen, you can just text me or message me. Just, you know, look for Louise McLeavy. Not on the real estate side. This has got nothing to do with hardcourts. It's just private. So um, just message me, text me, and um, you need to get in here because we need someone now. Our tenants up and had to go overseas suddenly. Um, that's just how it is. So we are desperately wanting somebody in here. Um, yeah, that's it. Any questions, anybody? We'd love to have you in here. Take care, and we'll talk to you soon.